Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey and sound like one too. Hello and welcome everybody to a fantastic holiday vlog. Now today, myself and Kaylee are going camping at a haven site in Bridlington called Thornwick Bay. Now we are really excited for this. We are going for my birthday week and it's going to be absolutely great. The weather's a little bit hit and miss at the moment. It has just started kind of spitting and raining, so we're hoping this is only local and we're hoping it's not kind of in the uh, Scarborough region as such. And um, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's crack on with packing up the car and let's go on holiday. In a flash. Is that it? Yeah. Is that right? I still can't see it. It's in a box. Are we on? Mm. So this here, I, I can't see what it's, it's just outside of my line of vision. What have we got? <laughs> ah, I've got a planter! It's only took you two years to get me one. I thought you were going to build me one. Look yeah. at that. Now this, this just shows you my age. Um, <laughs> yeah. So last year we got a hammock. Now I can put a plant next to it. We can put, I, want, I might grow some mint. Yeah, so I like mint sauce with a bit of vinegar. Might stick a few strawberries in there. Might even put a little rose bush. It's not that it. big. What's we got in here? Oh, mate, guess what? I've got to build it. Needs this. another lick of pain. What? Needs another lick of pain. Another lick of pain. Some French ink on it. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. So as I was packing the car, it started raining, so we're hoping it stops, otherwise we're going to be having a very soggy pitch for putting our tents up, but I thought I'd quickly talk you through the car and how we've packed it. So in this bag we've got a couple of utensils, oil chopping board and kind of our other coats and things, um, as well as some other things, e.g. birthday cards for my birthday. We've also taken a TV, now we don't normally take the TV, but we're going to give that a bash this time round. We've got obviously main suitcase with clothing in, this suitcase which has got dressing gowns, shoes and other stuff. We've got our bottled water because we don't like to drink the water that's actually on the campsite, so we are going to do that. And that's not shut right. In here, if we flip back our <coughs> duvet, we've got the bag of dry food, we've got the main tent itself. This little gap here is where the cool box is going to go when we're actually going to leave. Power supply, um, air bed, we've got a towel, and we've got all the gubbins here. So you see De Serrano, some wipes, lighting, and then behind all this we've got the camping chairs, the stoves, and everything else that we're going to need. And is the packing of the car. We are going to wait 10 minutes, see if this rain stops, and then we're going to be going on our journey to Bridlington, Stoke Scarborough, to Thornwick Bay, Haven site. Let's go. And the final thing to pack is, of course, the cool box. We always leave this till last. I just got all of our food in. Now, this is the stuff that we're going to keep refrigerated. So you've got sausages, bacon, cider, J2Os. We've got some twirls, milk, a bit of Coke and all that good stuff. Let's transport that to the car. So we're now on the way. The sun has come out, as you can see. The car is packed at the back. I've just had a meal deal from Mackie's, courtesy of Kaylee. Thank you very Listen. much. You bought it, mate, courtesy of you. You says, I've just had a meal deal from Mackie's. Did I? I've had a meal deal from Morrison's. We had a Mackie's for breakfast earlier on that you probably didn't see. Um, and yeah. Here it is, this is us on the road, and this is outside.
So we have arrived at Thornwick Bay. As you just saw, it was very, very, very long to get here. It took us actually about five minutes to get from the start to the actual tour in sight. Ke um, Kayla's attempting to check in, give me a sec. Sorry about that. So it turns out the uh, tour in reception closes at four o'clock. Even though checking is normally four o'clock anyway. Yeah, even though checking is usually four o'clock. So we have to drive all the way back down for another five minutes back to the entrance just to speak to some security guard that really had no idea what he was doing. There were seven of them and only this one guy spoke to me. We've got our pack. We are on Pitch Rabbit. Any number. So we've got the pick of the pick of the choice. Pick of the choice. Pick of the choice. And uh, yeah, let's uh, find Rabbit and pitch up, as they say. Rabbit. Go right at top. Or are they small ones? This one. This one seems to be. Which well, it's one? electric. Huh? Well, that's squirrel, so it's not them. No. Oh, yeah, this is flat. Yeah. Kill the seagull. Six oh four. I'll do. Let me ask a six oh four. So you don't want to go right next to the power lines. Well, found the electric. Good. You are. Grass. Grass, 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 grass. Home is where you pitch it. And this is our tent tour. So this is our front porch view. So you've got the kind of touring caravans over there. This area here is for the tenting. And you've got all the way over there the statics toilet block is just there and that over there we believe is flambra and uh yeah tent tour time so this is our kind of food washing up and breakfast area so we've got the trusty bin the three-legged bin um we've got some water now i made a bit of a boo-boo kaylee what did adam forget i forgot the kettle so we can't have actually a warm drink yet and i really fancied a nice warm um oh what could this one be called? A tent tea. Anyway, we've got the washing up bowl with some other bits and bobs just there. 
Um, then we're on to our food collection with my trusty birthday cake, of course. Then we've got the actual pans. I don't know why that looks like that. It looks a bit scratched, doesn't it? Um, uh, fair liquid. We've got the stoves. We've got two gas and then an electric with two. Uh, this bag is what contains all of our good uh, like cutlery and plates and stuff. Inside here, into our living quarters, we have got our two camping cupboards with my clothes and Kaylee's coat clothes, um, suitcase, shoes. Actually got our airbed all kitted up and ready for when we go to bed later on. Just obviously other stuff just there. Kaylee looking lovely. So this is our kind of entertainment area itself. Wave Kaylee. Got the table, so we brought Uno. We've got some polos there got to go in her car and a pack of cards. This is our um, pack that we got. Let the fun time begin. So camping chairs, we've got the cool box. Now the cool box made a really funny noise. So we're gonna look for a brand new cool box as well. There's potentially an extension lead and a kettle. So yeah, then we've got again, the entertainment stuff and uh, yeah that's kind of it as I said we're about to go for some food so uh, yeah this is Thornwick Bay so we're finally unpacked we're about to go out for some food now we were considering going to the mash and barrel however it can be a bit expensive and as our first meal we don't want to blow our budget on scram so I'm going for a wee this is the toilet block just here it's a little bit windy gentlemen Interesting. So we are back. It is now ten o'clock. Just watched an episode of TV on our brand new uh, whatever it is entertainment kit. This is our this is our bed for the night. I never showed you something, but let me just see if you can see this. I'm going to turn the flash off and just wait for this. Can you see this? I'm going to be able to see it. I don't know if you can see the flash, but... Whoops. Basically, we've got a lighthouse that way. <laughs> There's a lighthouse that's flashing every five seconds. But anyway, we'll see you in the morning, guys. Bye, Dubai. Uh, yeah. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, you look like a monkey, and you sound like one too. So I'm really on. Oh, 25 past 7. <sighs> it's camping weather. Oh, look at that then, that's pretty. Oh, sleeve gone. Right then, should we, uh, I can write cough up there. Now I'll see why you got up earlier. Well, no, I was just awake anyway. Should we open some cards? Morning, everybody. It was quite a rough night last night. The rain, the wind. As we were trying to sleep, there was this really weird noise that lasted about half an hour. Turns out it was the Coast Guard trying to find someone we think in the sea. <laughs> it was flying back and forth over the sea, and it was a Coast Guard helicopter. Um, yeah, it is my birthday, so happy birthday to myself. Kaylee is just there looking lovely. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go and brush my teeth, not that you needed to know that. Then we're gonna have a cup of tea. It's only about half past seven, because the sunlight kind of woke us up but we're not actually gonna have food yet until probably about eight o'clock, maybe half, half past eight. Then today we are gonna to be going to Scarborough um, for a little bit. Then we're gonna be heading we to... to Scarborough yeah, and then we're gonna to go to Alpamere, rhymes, to do some swimming. Uh, we went there last time we came to Skipsy Sands, which was very, very nice. Can't record the place, but hopefully it's gonna be great. And yeah, see what else the day brings, but let's crack on with our first day of camping in the cold and wet weather. 
So it's time to make a cup of tea. Brand new kettle from Morrison's. No lime scale, oh, beautiful. Well, I don't thought so, it's brand new. Island spring water. Half an hour to boil. <laughs> so uh, yeah, back in half an hour for our camping cuppa. Oh happy days! Oh happy days! When Jesus walks, when Jesus walks, when Jesus walks, when Jesus walks, I have no other words, I have no other words, nah nah. And this is like morphing like high school music. This is our first look at our bag of goodies. Not as well, here's it to go. No, I'm saying for the people that are watching at home. Want a cuppa? Cup of tea? In the bin. In the bin. <laughs> cuppa? Cuppa? Camping cuppa. It's going to be red hot. It's not actually. Oh, kettle's right, crap that. then. It's alright, it's good, good, good thing. And breakfast has been cooked. So we have got some Richmond sausages, some smoked medallion bacon things, some uh, potato scones, some Heinz beans with sausages. We kind of forgot the mushrooms, which is my fault, of course. Kay's got a J2O because the Coke's uh, tea's gone cold. My tea has also gone cold, but let's dig in. So this here is the pot washing area. We have just washed the pots. Kaylee has just took them back. But, uh, yeah. Get rid of the dirty water. We'll that drip a minute. But, uh, yeah. Camping problems. When your air bed goes down. And you've got to pump it back up. So this is a view of our site map. So where did we enter from? So we entered from here. Right, and then what was our route yesterday? Down there, up here, through the barriers, up here, round the roundabout, up this way, 
around here, down here, down here, down there, to there, up to there, and then we're off into the abyss. So for the fans that have been watching the vlogs, there is Primrose Valley. If you haven't seen it, check it out. What a perfect vlog that was. Now you can't really see it, but up there is Blue Dolphin. Another fantastic vlog, which we did, I In think, a few years ago. Yeah, again, check out that vlog too. So I told a bit of a lie. We are going into Scarborough, but we're not going to look around. Where we are going is here. Halfords. And the reason why we are going to Halfords is I mentioned yesterday that our cool box was on the verge of blowing up. So we've bought a cool box and a mallet and we are here to pick those up today and we are going to have a little look around here before heading to Alpamere to go sell women. Let's go shopping. So, we just had a nip into Dunelm and bought ourselves a little step stool thing. Uh, it's more for like when I'm doing the cooking on the stove, I can just sit down and monitor it rather than sitting in my big camping chair. Uh, we've got the mallet so we can now hit our windbreak in as well, so that'll be good. Got our cool box so we can get rid of the original one. Oh, well, we're going to give it back to my dad. Never buy it else. No, that was it. Now we're off swimming to Alpamere. This is Alpamere. It's got a total of four slides. I'm looking forward to the big blue one because that's like, like a big space bowl thing, which is really, really cool. It's also one of the tallest ones, which is also gonna be pretty cool. We just put four hours on the car park. Looks fairly busy, so we're hoping that it's not too busy. Um, oh dear. They were before though. So, yeah, let's go in and enjoy our day. I know, I was going to tell you that. So we've just come out of Alpamere. The heavens have opened, but we had an absolutely great time. Obviously I couldn't take any films by the pool, so I've had to put in a few little marketing photographs, so I hope that was all right. Uh, what did we do? So we went into the, uh, the infinity pool, which was like a really nice 30 degree steam pool that looks out over like Scarborough Bay, and that was really, really nice. Then it started raining, but it was already wet, so it didn't really make much difference, and it was quite therapeutic. Then we went back inside, um, sat on the sunbeds for a little bit before grabbing a bit of lunch that you probably saw. Then I went on a few of the slides. So I went on one that was called Cressa Run. I went on that three times in total. You have like, you're like on this bodyboard that's made of foam, and you kind of go down like um, head first. Um, each time I went down it, I got progressively faster. Uh, and I also got prog progressively more water up my nose, which wasn't the best. And um, 
Yeah, I also went on one that was called the Olympic Run. Now it's mainly designed for two people because you get like a rubber ring raft with like two like seats on. But uh, you could go on it one person. So I went on that. It weren't as good that one, it were a bit slow. But yeah, all in all, it was very fun. Did you like it? What was your favourite bit? The outdoor. The outdoor infinity pool. Yeah. But we are now heading to the John Bull factory. Maybe get some misshapes and stuff. Just have a little look around there, see what they've got. Before heading home to get ready to go out for my birthday meal. Where that might be, stay tuned to find out. John Bull. You can't see it. Factory tours. We're not doing the actual factory tour. Where we are going is... It was on that sign, but on the wrong side of it. We are going to the shop. So we've just come out of the Jumble Cafe. We had a little refreshment break because we got a bit thirsty, so we had a can of Coke. And uh, yeah, bought some goodies. I got myself some lemon and lime misshaped rock. Kaylee got some misshaped nougat fudge, um, as well as some rock as for our dad. The second I got. Towards Scarborough. I didn't. She also. <laughs> How did you? What else did you buy? She bought herself this chocolate fish, which has now gone because she's eaten that. And she got her mum some ginger biscuits. ginger biscuits. We're now heading back to the campsite to get ready to go back out again later for something to eat. So, 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 what happened? Why are we back at home this early? So, yesterday, many of you may be aware, we had some very severe strong wind and heavy rain, and sadly, my tent could not withstand it. So, this that you can see here is the porch pole, um, and it had snapped in three places. This is probably the more severe snap. It had snapped in two other places of this particular pole, and yeah, so because of that, we made the decision that we had to come home because we couldn't really immediately repair it while we were there. And uh, yeah, it was pretty hectic last night, so I didn't really want to film anything. We was pretty angry, and it was a great way to celebrate my birthday. So as you many, as you know, we went to Alpamere, Scarborough, which is a water park, and we then went to the John Ball Rock Factory. And after that, we booked a table at an Italian restaurant. Never got a chance to actually go to it. And we got back to the campsite just to find out that, yeah, the strong wind had forced, not really forced, but had caused our tent to collapse, obviously because of the poles that had snapped. Everything was inside it, and yeah, it was a little bit of a pain. So I had to crawl under the tent, get everything out of it, and put it all back in the car. Meanwhile, the tent was wet. Um, obviously, the poles were all down, so I was literally armor crawling all the way through it. Um, that took us about an hour. Uh, I did ring security, but they weren't much use, to be honest, because they said they were going to send someone and no one ever came. So that was jolly great. But we're back home. As you can see, which you can't actually see, but we are drying the tent carpet because that kind of got flooded. We're drying the ground sheet because that was just full of mud. We need to put the tent back up to dry that out because we put it down wet, which is never a good thing. 
and that was about it. So, to be honest, the holiday vlog has come to an end very, 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 very quickly. But we're hoping that we can get back to Thornwick Bay in Scarborough to experience what it's got to offer. And, uh, yeah, let's see what the rest of the vlog brings. Not sure, but let's see what birthday celebrations we can get out of this such sad times. So, we had to get something positive out of our negative holiday ending as such. So we've decided for my birthday, we are going to Ciao Bella, which is an Italian restaurante in Mansfield. So we're all dabbed out ready to go. Kaylee's got a very nice top on. I've also got a very nice, a very nice top on. And uh, yeah, table is booked for six o'clock. And yeah, excited. Yeah, let's go have some yummy food. The restaurant is split into two parts. You've got the Chow Bella Lounge, which is more of a bar environment, cocktails and stuff. And then you've got this bit, which is the main restaurant, just here. We are about 20 minutes early, so let's hopefully get our table. Chow Bella. So, just come out of Ciao Bella, got a complimentary mint, which was very, very nice. And it was uh, very, very good. So, to start off with, we had this fungi thing. Fungi. Now, the, f the, first, <laughs> the first time we came, it came with like a, a phyllo pastry bit. Phyllo basket, that was it. But sadly, it didn't come with that, and it just had like some Italian bread, as they called it. It was very, very nice, however. Then for mains, Kaylee had chicken polo thing. Polo a creamer. And I had uh, spaghetti carbonara, pretty basic. Then for dessert, Kaylee had trio of gelato, and I had, um, not Bella pancake. Italia, I had uh, Ciao Bella pancake, which was like ice cream rolled up in a pancake with like garnish and stuff. It was very, 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 very nice. Definitely recommend it if you live in Mansfield. And uh, yeah, hometown now. And there we go, guys. I've just got up, but I'm going to be ending the vlog uh, for today. Sorry it has not been a full holiday vlog. It's been such a shame that we had to come home. We were really excited. We wanted to explore Bridlington and Scarborough, see what they've got new for 2022. Obviously, we got to go to Alpamere again, which was pretty good on my actual birthday. Um, but obviously, sadly, we couldn't do much in the grand scheme of camping and things. So, of what you did see, I hope you have all enjoyed it. And I have had a good birthday, despite obviously the mishap uh, that we had in the vlog. But until then guys, stay tuned for another fantastic vlog. I will see you all next time. Bye, divine.